Hey everybody out there in the internet world, in the YouTube community, and welcome to another Avengers Log. After getting everything off my chest um, last weekend with my last Avengers Log, this weekend it's completely all about news, so no worries guys about that. First of all, I finally got my Avengers shirt. You'll be seeing this on all the videos this weekend because believe me, there's going to be a good amount of videos this weekend. And why is that? Because I've been working non-stop the past week and the week before that I was deathly sick and the week before that I was sick. Notice I was sick, deathly sick, and then busy. And next week I'm probably going to be busy too because everybody's getting sick at where I work. I don't know how. Uh, it's passing from person to person. Um, lucky for me, um, my immune system, knock wood and Comic Book Corner, but um, it's been pretty strong knock wood on the other side of Comic Corner. And um, I've been okay, so most likely I'm going to be doing a lot of substitution work uh, next week. So I want to get as many videos out of the way as humanly possible. So I apologize in advance, guys. There's going to approximately be four videos, including this one, on this channel. Five video, uh, one video on Comic Community Central, which I've already started to shoot. I just have to finish it, edit it, and post it. So that's most likely going to be posted tonight and uh, throughout the week I'm going to take a book with me while I'm substituting and I'm probably going to do another uh, Comic Corner book review. Now uh, first off a video I want to do was I asked a lot of my friends who I know touch on new and different kinds of comic books about how the Transformers were doing because uh, it was originally one series you guys remember I was doing it on my comic reviews and then right before the last issue I believe they mentioned that it was going to split off into two. One is more than meets the eyes, and one is robots in disguise. And I was like, oh, ha, 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 they're just taking words from the theme, and they're trying to make more money by separating. I was interested enough that I actually decided to pick up the two issues. My problem was, I wanted to know how people felt about these issues. Now, I did go on a comic review. I believe it was Comic Vine... Newsarama or CBR, one of the three, those are my main sources of comic book news and I found a review of both of these and both of these got a four out of five stars or four and a half out of five stars one of them got but regardless they both got good ratings so I decided especially because I like I told you guys how I am with covers and comics when I saw that there was a silvery kind of cover I said okay definitely giving it a shot so I came on YouTube looking for um, somebody to have done a review on these. Uh, nobody has. And this isn't the first time I've actually gone on YouTube and tried to check out um, a series that I was interested in and then had a huge letdown when I found that nobody had reviewed them yet. Um, so you guys are going to be in for a treat because after this video I'm actually going to be reviewing both of those books in a um, special Transformers comic book review so that'll be up so people who are interested in knowing about these two books I'll be doing that right after this video in this exact same spot we're going to cut the camera go right into that video uh, comic review is either going to be late tonight or early tomorrow it depends I have a stack about this thick and uh, yeah Mike has a book in there but I review the book too so I'm gonna have to um, make sure I get through that book and then we'll see it, I'll pro most likely I'll have the time to do that um, now about as far as comic books go I've noticed a lot of people um, I've been talking to a lot of people on Skype um, over the past few days give and take believe me I haven't been online half as much as I would like I was online till the middle of this week and then I was just like literally offline the rest of the week uh, a lot of people are um, talking about how comic books got so popular and why all of a sudden it's not like a nerd thing you're not made fun of anymore for reading comic books. How comic books got so cool. And I thought about it and a lot of people are saying it's the DC relaunch. I'll attribute that to the old fans coming back. That's fine. Um, most likely that's true. For the new readers though, for the kids, I think it's a combination of the relaunch and the fact that Marvel has thrown out every single one of their A and B list hitters in movies. And the Avengers movies, like what, three months away? Yeah, I think a lot of people are excited to um, not only see the movie, but they're going to want to read the comics. Why do you think they're doubling up 90% of their Avengers stuff? So I think comic books got pretty cool because of the movies and because of all the innovative stuff that... Uh, 
DC and Marvel has decided to throw at everybody to say like, ooh, look at us. I mean, for example, tomorrow, Sunday, uh, Walking Dead comes back on TV, woohoo. And then right after that, a new series starts up with Kevin Smith, Comic Book Men. A bunch of men who buy a comic shop, comic nerds, you know, the whole nine yards and whatnot. And it's like, when did comic books become popular again? Because last I checked, nobody cared. But now, over the past year alone, not only has our community grown, but our community kind of segregated. It's like the original comic community and then the new reviewers. And the difference between the old reviewers and the new reviewers are us old reviewers do the mom and pop thing. We sit in front of a camera just like what I'm doing, talk, hold up a comic book, talk about that for a couple of minutes, put it down, and then pick up a new one. The new age ones are doing special effects and green screens and explosions and... I can understand the appeal for young kids, but my God, how things are pretty quickly evolving and changing when it comes to comic books and the communities and the reviewers and stuff. Um, it's wow. I mean, I'm happy because, you know, I remember when I started this site, my goal was to promote superheroes to get people interested in reading comics again. And in a way, I'm hoping that all of our reviews on all of our channels is somehow inspiring or encouraging somebody to go out there and say, hmm, Transformers... I saw this on a review. It got a good review. Maybe I should check it out. And you know, you go up and buy the comic and then you read it and you love it and next thing you know, a new comic book nerd is born. But beside the point, you know, we all hope for that. But it's, I'm just, I don't know, it's not like surprising. I'm just amazed how fast the um, community and the reviewers have grown and the views and the people and the messages I've been getting and questions and whatnot. It's, wow. That's all I could say. I mean, I'm, I'm happy and I'm impressed that comic books have come such a short distance, but a long way at the same time. It's pretty wow. Into news-wise, I'm happy t about two comic series that were announced. Uh, first one is Smallville Season 11. The, um, they did it with Buffy. They did it with, I forgot, Charmed. And they did it with another series, I can't remember. Uh, finally, it reached Smallville. DC Comics is going to be doing a Smallville Season 11. Here's the catch, though. It's going to start in April, digitally. Once a week, for the four weeks, they're going to release a digital chapter. And then in May, they're going to print it, and you get the full four chapters in one book. So for those of you who like to spend a lot of money, you can buy the digital copies, the four chapters or five chapters in that month, and then you can go out and buy the print, or you could do like what I'm doing and wait out the four weeks of the digital chapters and just pick up the um, printed copy when it comes out. I'm excited because this continues the story. A, you don't have to worry about actors. B, you don't have to worry about people who don't want to do it anymore or not wanting to wear the costume. And that was the main problem. And um, cast coming on. You can put whoever you want in there. And if you get the right artist, which I saw the cover, that guy drew Tom Welling almost perfectly. And you get the right people to do the artwork, and you're set. You've got Smallville. I remember when Smallville was a comic series back between season 3, 4, or 4 and 5. And the artists on those books were amazing. And it, it really, you know, I felt like I was reading an extra chapter in Smallville's history. I'm so glad that they are actually continuing the series, though. Because in comic book form, you could do a lot more than on TV. Because in the comics, you could draw or do anything. Whereas on TV, you have your budgets, you have your filming, you have your act, you got tons of variables. Comic books, there's no variables except the writer and the artist. And that's it. So I'm excited about that. Watchmen begins, or the prequel to Watchmen. Um... At the end of this month, Justice League Doom is coming out on DVD. That's the straight-to-DVD animated movie, the next one from DC. Uh, with that, I'm going to stick in a soft cover of Wa the soft cover uh, paperback of Watchmen. That's probably going to be uh, on a Comic Corner review in early March, I'd like to say. <coughs> Give or take a week. Depending on when I have the chance to read it. 
I'm also going to get the Watchmen movie because a lot of people said I should watch it. Actually, they took off the should part and they were like, watch it. So I was like, okay. So I have those two things in my card. I have Justice League Doom in my card. And I don't know if I'm going to get the first uh, trade paperback of Daredevil. It really just depends on the money. If not, I'll probably take Daredevil and put him on the side and keep him in the cart for a bit longer. We'll see. So anyway, um, I'm going to be checking out Watchmen. And everybody said, before you read prequel, because you don't know how bad or good it's going to do, read Watchmen. So I'm going to read Watchmen. Okay? I'm even going to watch the movie after I read Watchmen. I'll probably do a movie review also, so relax. I'm not going to read the... I'm going to buy the prequel if I like Watchmen, but uh, I'll read Watchmen first before I do any type of review or read of the prequels. Okay, guys? So don't worry. Um, Anything else comic book-wise? Avengers vs. X-Men is looking really, really good. Uh, the only problem I have, once again, is Marvel just keeps throwing, like, now Avengers Academy's in on this, and X-Men, all their, all the X titles and all the Avenger titles are going to be thrown in on this, and that's, like, huge, huge budget uh, for us comic reviewers, like, for or readers. I don't read Avengers Academy. I'm not reading Cyclops' side of the X-Men. And you're throwing also the main story and the side versus story at me. This is something that's going to definitely drain your pockets if you want the full story. Me, however, I'm not getting Avengers Academy. I, I, if I get it, I'm being honest, it's because I could, have I could afford it that week. But if I can't afford it, tough. I'll miss out on that part of the story then because I can't afford... 30 and 40 comics for one major event thing. And I'm sure that when Marvel trade paperbacks it, they're going to have to, they're going to be doing it in all the books and it's going to, uh, it's going to be a mess. It's a mess when you involve so many series from so many different comics and then the original, then you have the original mini and the side mini. Good luck, Marvel. Good luck. You're going to need it. <coughs> so anyway, um, what else? What else? Mm, I think that's about it when it comes to comic book news. Uh, a lot of videos coming your way, guys. I have my review of these two books coming up uber soon. I finally got uh, the full four issues of Batman uh, Death in the Family. I will be doing an old comic series, or, or I'll call it a review of Batman Death in the Family. I'm probably going to do that next week though because I have to go in the attic and get the third part. I have parts one, two, and four down here. I put the third part up after I got it. Uh, so I'm going to have to go upstairs and bring that down again. But that's not a problem. I know exactly where I put it so I'll be able to do a full review then. Um, first season one came out which is Fantastic Four. Not interested. Two people have asked me already. I'm not getting that. I'm getting X-Men. I'm probably going to get Daredevil, and I'm getting Spider-Man. It depends on Daredevil, though. The two that I definitely want to get are X-Men and Spider-Man. So if I have the extra money for Daredevil, I'll be checking it out. Oh, that's what it was. Avengers. If you guys go on ToyWiz.com, uh, because of the Avengers movie, they're rehashing some old toys, like the Hulk Fists are coming back, Captain America's Shield, Thor's Hammer, and I believe they're going to have a Styrofoam bow and arrow for Hawkeye. I'm not too sure. I can't remember that one. I'm looking for that. And then the arc reactor for Tony Stark, the toy one that you push that's coming back, and then making a Captain America one, of course. There's going to be a lot of toys for the Avengers movie, and I know a lot of people have been messaging me saying, Chris, you're the Dark Avenger. You're getting the shirts, you're getting the hats, you're getting the watch, you're getting the the underwear. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not getting everything. Uh, I'm going to pick and choose. The shirts, I'm, I got this one. Uh, I'm looking forward to the red one that's coming out also. Other than that, I don't think so. Hats, it depends on how big or small the week is for comic books. If it's very big, then hats out. If it's very small, then uh, no, the hat's in. Um, as far as toys, uh, depends how money is and also depends how expensive the toys are. I mean, I'm really not looking for... Um, like, the Hulk fists are definitely not something for me. Maybe Mike will buy it for himself to play with, but that's about it. So, um, as far as Avenger stuff goes, it, it's pick and choose. I'm going to be picking and choosing stuff because uh, I, I budget and money are very tight. I've, I've told you guys many times my money is 
super tight, especially with all of these comic book series that are starting up, and I love reading the comics, so comic books get that top priority over basically everything else as far as, as far as buying stuff, as far as prioritizing family and everything, that's different, but when it comes to buying comic books, miscellaneous is in a distant second compared to the actual comic books. Comic books first, mis miscellaneous, and apparel second. So, if I have enough money after the comic books, we'll see. I'm also hoping to get the Galactic Hero clicks that are coming out in two months, in April, and doing a huge uh, click of the month with that, with the new um, clicks that are coming out. Hopefully, if I pre-order it, it'll come soon-ish. So at least I'll be able to review them, be one of the first people to uh, review them and uh, put them up on YouTube. So yeah, guys, um, keep on reading those comic books. Uh, keep on enjoying those comic books. Uh, leave comments below with stuff you're interested in or stuff that you think I should check out. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in like three seconds when I do the review of these two Transformers books. Finally, somebody on YouTube's review Transform is going to be you the one to review Transformers, and that somebody's going to be me. We'll see. You'll see if I liked it or not, and my opinions on the artwork, story, and whatnot. I'm not saying in this video, so you're going to have to check out next. See you guys there.